tries to lure her into his car. You get used to each other. If you don't like it, you go home and I'll leave. From our control room, I'm watching our sting suddenly take an unexpected and potentially dangerous turn. I have to stop it before it gets out of hand. Speaking, I'm going to need to talk to you for a minute. Please come in. Come on in. Unbelievably, Buchanan comes inside to talk. I take him into the kitchen and grill him. Why don't you take a seat right over there? What was on the agenda tonight? I was, honestly, I was just going to take her out and show her around. Take her out and show her around where? Fairfield. Fairfield. That's it. And what exactly were you going to show her? The beach, sites to go to. So you're the welcome wagon here in Fairfield. You're just going to do a favor for a 13-year-old girl. Uh, As I'm questioning Buchanan, our fence cam shows the police getting into position, covering the exits in case he bolts. What happened was, okay. when my cousin came, right. she did the same thing. You, when your cousin came, she did the same thing. What do you mean? What is this? An older person. An older person came around. over and yeah. showed your 13-year-old around town. And what happened in that case? She got assaulted. She got assaulted. And I was in the Army. I would, I don't like people doing that. And you decided because you're former military and still in the National Guard, right? Yes. That you were going to come over and show this 13-year-old girl around so she'd be safe. Yes. And you want me to buy that? I'm telling you the truth, sir. Telling the truth, the sexually charged chat proves he's lying. And so what is all this talk back and forth? between you and a girl you think is 13. You know you're going to shower with me Thursday night. What night is this? What night is this? I'm going to pick you up and put you against the shower wall. Then I'm going to have you ride me, babe, as my hand grabs your ass and I blank your blanks. Did you send her any pictures of yourself? Then you talk about actually having sex with her and Skyping it to an ex-boyfriend. Now that doesn't exactly back up your story about being the protector of Fairfield County, Connecticut, does it? I'm listening. There's a horrible lapse in judgment. A horrible lapse in judgment. Help me to understand what it was that really brought you here tonight? I haven't been the same since I deployed to Iraq. Where were you in Iraq? Camp Marais. And you saw action? Yes, sir. It was just, I don't know, I, I do have problems sleeping at night. That's very common for returning. And I get that. I've never been to war, so I can't pass judgment on PTSD or any long-lasting effects. I can't. But I still have a difficult time connecting that to trying to sexually solicit a 13-year-old girl. Something just, just goes off in, inside of my head. Did you have these thoughts before you were in Iraq? No. Never. And how many times have you done this? Honestly? Honestly. It's my first. Your first time? First time. Honestly. The problem with that, Stephen, is that you surfaced talking in a very similar way to a girl named Brittany posing as a 13-year-old. I have that chat, too. Yes, I understand. So I said, you, my, you just lied to me. No. We have Bailey no, and we said, have Brittany. This, this, this is Bailey tonight. This is my first time doing it on a chat site. And you decided to come visit Bailey tonight. Why? Did you bring condoms? No, I did not. But your intent seems pretty clear I, from this discussion you had. Yes, but like then I told her afterwards, after I thought about it again, I told her we weren't going to do nothing tonight. Your intent is can, pretty clear. Can I, can I show you on, on? I don't want you to reach in your pocket. Can, can, can you reach him? What pocket is it? Go ahead, pull it on. And Go ahead, please have some. Uh, I said, let's just hang out later. I know, but you know what that sounds like to me? It sounds like somebody who's trying to create 
some kind of a plausible excuse. You see how this looks, right? Yes, I know. So what do you think should happen? Bring me down to the police station. Well, there's something else that you need to know. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. Yes, I understand. Is there anything else? Is there anything else you want people to know about your situation tonight? Don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. Are you going to try to get some help? Yes. And I have your word on that. Yeah. I'll shake your hand. All right, Stephen, you're free to go. And I hope you get the help. Thank you, you sir. Right. Thank you very much. Go ahead, you grab your phone. You can go out the door right there. Next, cops are about to find something chilling. Was he planning to do more than just take a girl for a ride? 